Hi, this is the DE from borderworld.com and today we'll be doing a review of Power Director 11. So when you actually set up Power Director 11 and you open up for the first time after putting in, of course, your password, you are, I mean, your uh, serial number, you're prompted with uh, uh, three options. You can open up the full editor, the easy editor, and the slide, slide share creator. And these two are very easy, simple um, ways to actually edit videos, nothing too in-depth or... Um, um, or as you know, in in you know, in comparison as the full editor, you can select 16 by 9 or 4 by 3 ratio. So let's go into the full editor here first, and um, jump right in. So this is our Power Director full editor here, and as you can see, we do have um, the similar layout that you have with Power Director. A couple of things to take note, and I'll show you here in a second. You do have the batch producer segment now, which means in Power Director that you can actually um, edit a uh, uh, you can actually edit a couple of videos and produce them or render them all at once. So you can edit three, four videos and then just batch render all of them, which is a very nice feature to have. Now, if you go into your settings here, uh, sorry, um, you have your general settings and you can see um, there's some additions here in, in terms of hardware acceleration, enable hardware decoding, also supports. Um, it supports uh, AMD APU uh, processors as well as Intel, uh, the Intel um, HD 4000 graphics chip. So you do get accelerated um, um, rendering processing uh, with that. Now, um, just to show you how the new editor um, Power Directed level works, let's go ahead and edit a, um, a, re a review we have pending. So the Libertone zip. So I like to import my videos this way you can do whichever way you want and I'm just gonna drag in our logo so a couple of things to note here and a couple of new prompts you will find with uh, Power Director 11 so as I drag this in I drop that in there um, and I decide to drag in the video itself what if I say where to run through and I wanted to make a split in the video here and say here, and I decided to delete this uh, by just hitting say the delete button. Uh, what it gives you is this new prompt that says remove and leave gap, uh, move gap, uh, move clip in the same track, or move all um, timeline clips and remove clips. So basically, if you had um, annotations below, so say for instance, I had something else here um, on the segment, and I went, you know, delete again. And I decided to do this. This would drag everything across the way. So um, it's a nice thing to have. It's a nice little addition. A um, couple other things too. With this is actually Power Direct 11 Ultimate, and what that means is that you do get a whole uh, slew of extra features uh, when it comes to um, making, um, adding text, notations, animations, and things like that. So if we're going to text here. I have the, the full pack here, and you can see we have a number of animations here. One, I, uh, a couple that I like to use in the videos, which you guys can probably see. You can see some of the animations here. So you have a lot of preloaded animations you can actually go through. Um, I like to use um, these animations in. So if I drag and drop that in there, you can see, I'll show you the animation here. Test animation. And say we play that in just to show you. So that's just the test animation showing you how that works. Um, overall, the um, Power Director 11 um, is still functions the same way. You have um, the same ability, to, of course, to modify your tracks. Um, you can you go into and make uh, use your power tools. And one of the things about power tools I do. Uh, uh, you know, you do have the video reverse, video crop, speed, and rotation. You can also edit audio. Now, the cool thing about editing audio is actually you can actually do this in-house uh, with the Wave Director, which is actually um, comes installed, or you can use Audio Director. Now, Audio Director is an audio um, analyzing or cleaning tool that helps you brush away um you know, audio artifacts, loud noise, honks, and things like that. And it's a very, very good tool that is complimentary, especially if you get in the um, Power Director suite that works out well for you. And um, it's a solid tool overall. Now, in general, one of the best improvements you get from Power Director 11 is it's very smooth. Um, it, 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 
very few shutdowns or um, um, issues with it. I've had had very issues where it actually, you know, just uh, froze on me, uh, which is something that yeah, was more rampant in Tiger Direct 9 and a little bit in 10. Uh, of course, you've also got more... Um, effects to use uh, between uh, transitions uh, you also have more general effects that you can actually use uh, within your videos and so there, there's many things you can do and add with power director so for instance I can turn my video black and white and drop that in there and you see this video now has become a black and white video Um, which is very nice. So um, it's very in depth, um, very stable. You've got very good features overall. You can still switch back and go from 60 by 9 to 4 by 3 in there at the very top of the video. Uh, what well, you do have is a full feature set, so you can produce a movie, create a disc, of course. Um, in the editing features, you have, of course, some of the magic tools to for magic music in uh, Movie Wizard. And that's pretty much all five, which you can actually enable in there. We also have some view options. We have playback options, and it shows you. And uh, I probably need to do an update, so I would say later there. But it shows you um, a lot of things that PowerDirect 11 has uh, that pretty much is uh, pretty cool. Now, um, the Magic Music here I just initialized. Of course, we're gonna anal analyze that and um, and apply um, some tunes to uh, my video. And I can actually select um, songs here because they provide you the slew songs you can actually pick, which are, um, I believe these are license friendly songs, so you can actually throw them on YouTube, which is pretty nice. A Night in Paris, you can also purchase songs, so on and so forth. Uh, so, I'll do a thousand. And uh, so, you can do that. And um, it's pretty, it's pretty nice, nifty feature overall. All right, so you can also add. Uh, tracks you can add your track manager uh, video and audio below um, and you have all those features so in, in general it's a very rich rich uh, featured uh, video editor uh, I, I really will call this a full-fledged video editor and it does a very good job this is what I use personally as you can see I can select file formats from MPEG to WMV and a couple of new things here in rendering videos you have the ability to render in 3D so you can actually upgrade 2D to 3D content I haven't generated anything in my timeline to do that and it shows you the different formats as well as the, the bit rate for that the other cool thing besides 3D like you see 3D formats stay between MPEG 4 all the way down to MKV um, also I can render at 4K. So, for instance, I have the ability to render that video at uh, 4K. I can do 4K 4096 by 2304, 30 frames per second at 40 megabits, or a smaller version at 4K, two, or actually 2K video at 2448 by 1152 at 40 megabits per second so you can do 4k video I will tell you this I tried to render a 5 minute video 4k it took about 45 minutes to render so rendering a 4k video will take a long time just to let you guys know but overall this is it's very I, I do like it I do like um, the hardware acceleration with it so if you have any questions any comments let us know uh, don't forget to uh, subscribe to all our pages this is Thunder E saying thank you and always enjoy your entertainment